Josh said on the field he just felt like overall there were more quality at bats tonight. What do you think led to, to some increased offense? I think that um, even even when we hadn't scored, you know, before the rain delay, it was like man, these are the bats you want to have. And, you know, it was, I just felt from the, from Jump Street it was much better than last night, and then we're you know able to finally break through there, obviously. Um, but I, I, I thought a lot of guys had a lot of really good at bats tonight. Josh, in particular, what was different about him? At the plate. I, you know, I, I actually said something to Dylan midway through his first at bat, like, that's it right there. And he ends up working the walk, and then I just felt like he, I, I just felt like he was all covering everything and 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 letting it go, uh, making his move, and uh, I thought he got off a lot of really good swings tonight. Hicks on base four times, first night or first night of the season as a, as a leadoff guy. Does that make a case for for more of that? Uh, sure. Sure, um, you know. Obviously, we got a lefty tomorrow, um, but yeah, I was pleased with with the quality of his at bats, kind of setting the tone there up at the top for us. So, yeah, he's always a candidate for that. What type of spark do you think Trevino has has made? He's been great, man. I mean, he can really catch. Um, he's he swung the bat well in his in his in his start so far. He's run the bases really well. That was a huge third run. You know, not everyone makes that read on a ball that doesn't get that far away. Um, he's all over it. It's a really good play to get us a, a big third run cushion there. So he's done a little bit of everything. He's 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 been great in the room. Um, you know, excited about what he's brought so far. What happened on the base running mistake with Aaron Hicks? A mistake. Yeah, just thought he had him timed up and and obviously didn't and uh, we got caught there. It looked like you talked to him for a little while after that half inning. What what was the message? Just just wanting to make sure that you know we don't shy away from being aggressive because th those things are going to be out there. But obviously, you know, and I think he understood obviously that situation where we're first and second there, no outs, in the middle of the order to start the game. You know, something you want to be sure of, but but don't want to scare away his aggression. Tonight, did you think of not bringing him back out? We did. Um, you know, as it got a little bit longer there, um, you know, um, yes, yes, it, it was close for us. You know, the fact that he was able to go throw down the pen, he threw about 15 pitches, so we kind of treated that as another inning. Um, and he, he, he certainly felt good about it. Um, so, but, but there, there, there was a little bit of a decision there. Time in mind on something like that is a 49 minute delay in your head. Are you thinking you know, 55 uh, minutes, 60? Well, and he, he, you know, the problem is it being a little longer for him because he wasn't going out to pitch. So we, you know, we we're still up to bat. So that that came into play. So you knew it was even going to be a little bit longer than that. So um, no, I mean, it, it varies player to player, situation to situation, you know, time of year, all those things. Um, but it was a close call for us. Aaron, you talked the other day about being comfortable with a few guys closing games. Is it important to see a guy like Clay actually do it? Um, uh, I mean, he was he was terrific. I mean, that was, um, but I don't know that I necessarily had to see it. You know, I, I know I know we have a number of guys capable of of coming in and shutting the door, and he was he was pumping strikes and throwing his bowling ball up there and. He was he was he was he was he was good by even his standards tonight. I thought Michael King in another big spot there manages to get out of that inning. Just how much has your confidence grown in him in this short start to the season? Yeah, um, it, it grew a lot last year. The second half, he pitched in some big spots and some big games for us down the stretch, um, and has and has continued to build on that now and uh, he was huge tonight for us to be able to give us a little length when we didn't have much down there we were staying away from a lot of guys tonight uh, so you know once Sears was out of there you know it was going to be Kinger we were going to ride Kinger there as, as much as we could um, and and I thought he pitched really well and Sears too in a big spot there with you know after walking Mullins I think it was and then yeah yeah uh, you know he's, he's kind of shown that you know he's you know, he, he is a strike thrower, so, um, but he's not afraid out there, even in that situation. So even though he, he lost Mullins, which, you know, wasn't ideal, um, you know, I, I knew he'd be fine, you know, 
mentally and emotionally to bounce back and, and obviously got a big 